What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend that this is the new podcast to be a part of. And that's just on what? What's good, my people? Okay, I know I'm a day late. Don't, don't, don't start no shit, period. It's my birthday weekend. Um, I've got a lot of planning going on. Got some parties to get together. Situations coming up. Vacation, audit in one. So I'm trying to get everything together. And bear with me. It's tar season. And I'm Tarzan. Let me do me, period. But I got a lot of special things for y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about that at the end of the video. But y'all know what this is about. This is about Hoochie Daddy. So we're going to get into my stuff at the end of this. We're going to go on and jump on into this. Y'all know what time it is. Season 2, episode 6, baby. We getting it out. Let go. Oh, nothing. I'm just trying to write down all the questions that are being asked. Are you really asking this grown? Are you questioning this grown woman? Twenty five. Oh, one thing about a real nigga, a real nigga gonna peep out some lame shit. So I'm definitely not surprised that money jumped in on this. Let's be clear, money is the roommate. Like she said, if anybody had any questions about where she was, and no one should have, let's be clear, but it should have been money. She's the roommate. Hey, who are her punching? We allowed to, like, you know, stay out all night and stuff? No. Everybody should be standing down. Uh, okay. Why? Wow. Right. 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 Wait, wait. First of all, <laughs> let's run that back to the faces that each and every one of the cast members made when 24 asked that question. <laughs> Where you been? Like, what? Why are you in my business? I don't even know you like that yet for you to even be questioning me about anything. Ain't you an entrepreneur? Tend to that business, my guy. Tend to that. Man, that's some bitch ass shit, bro. If you gonna ask whatever the fuck you need to add, then do that, bro. Don't don't bring the next nigga into this shit, man. This on sold. It one thousand, man. This some bitch yeah. ass shit. Okay, so let me let me get this straight. 24 is feeling some type of way because the rules were placed that you could not leave the house. Clearly, baby was allowed to leave the house and 24 feels some type of way about that because clearly she wants to leave the house and get some pussy as well. Hey, she is in a poly relationship, so the other person that's in the relationship with her and her girlfriend must be getting more of the pussy and she's feeling a little left out. Understandable. But you're sounding like a little tattletale. Little, little, little tattletale. Interesting competition. Really didn't understand the motive of it, but I guess it was cute to be able to meet the um, tattoo artist that will be doing the winner's tattoo. So, I guess. Anyway, let's get back to the drama girl. Hey, Tyrese. 
how you brought it back up. And you should've, don't get me wrong. But I'm just letting you know. It's how you brought it back up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Stay out of my Stay out of my eyes. 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 And right there, the time, the place, the date, the hour, is when you told on yourself. Damn. Now y'all know I fuck with all these girls. So I give my commentary equally. Now, I said on the first episode that 24 looked like she'll shoot you 24 times. My commentary is real. Because clearly, she ain't going to fight you. You let that nigga put his hand on you. When you went to go see you or whatever, did you bring it to Woody like, yo, I got this situation... It was right in front of y'all. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. It's the way you brought it up. You brought it up. You said, well, Ty, with the whoop, whoop, her name didn't have to be brought up at all, bro. Like, no, I could... didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It didn't come up that Ty did shit until Ty interjected on me asking the question. And 24 is correct about that. She is right about that. But let's be real for a moment. This issue really came from Woody. Woody, you gotta be uh you gotta be right with all of them. You can't you can't let one out and not let the other ones out. Like, come on now, you got a house full of studs with no films. These bitches horny. You got three options. You gonna either let them out, not let them out, or invite me over. What it's gonna be. Uh-huh. So, so how, how did money get involved? Because she exactly. money was pissed, bro. Exactly. So I felt like exactly. the way she was turning up, bro, I felt like you had been Nigga, like trying to big big body tie or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody know Ty's real neutral, you feel me? And she vibes with everybody. So when I came out and money was so turned the fuck up, I'm like, you had to be doing some bully shit to tie or something. Like, so did you say something rude to her? Did you act like you wanted to fight her? Like what's going on, bro? <laughs> Nelly B, you're fucking with that girl's mental right now. That's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> Nelly B said, fuck it. I'm just glad it ain't me this time. It's on you now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shouts out to the Uji Addis for another amazing episode. Yes, ma'am. That was cute. I hope you all enjoyed my commentary. Make sure y'all come back next week for the same thing, same place. Right here, Chats with Barbie Boys, Season 2, Episode 7. Yes, ma'am, we're getting to it. Period. We're getting to it. But before I leave you guys, I want to let y'all know a couple of things I got coming up. Y'all stay tuned. We about to go out of town with this thing. Yeah. Come on back. Uh-huh. And we're back. Uh -huh. And just to let you all know tonight, I was rocking Barbie Boy merchandise. This is my brand. Uh -huh. If you want your piece, get your piece. Okay, so just to make some things clear, we got some things coming up, my people, my followers, my, my supporters, my lovers. We will be going to Miami on the 17th. I have to perform. I am happy to announce that I will be performing live in Miami, Florida at Cloud 9. That's Club Cloud 9 on the 17th. It's going down. Shouts out to Capone for the booking. We are going to be lit. Atlanta takes my 
and me. Barbie Boy will be performing live, so make sure y'all are in the building if you can get you a flight, honey. If not, it's cool. Be at my party at Best Friends this Saturday. This Saturday. Flyers are being dropped as we speak. Go.